my Comet K 2025 aspirants. Hope all of you are doing really well and we are just left with 10 days for the Comet K examination and I really hope that all of you are preparing very hard. So students, these 10 days are very, very critical, crucial and important. So now you should be knowing what all things you should be doing in this last 10 days, how to study, how to revise. So that's all I have brought in this video. We'll be talking the last 10 days strategy for Comet K 2025 so that you can get a very good rank okay so let's see what all things we have so we'll be talking about the 10 day study plan then i'll be giving you the chapter wise weightage so that you can revise according to the weightage study timetable best resources and how diksha karnataka channel is going to help you okay now coming forward a 10 days plan so i want you people to follow this particular schedule so from may 1 till may 5 okay May 1 to May 5, please try to complete only focus on focus on high weightage topics. Means if if you haven't read any or if you have missed any high weightage topic, then please in this five days try to cover that. Okay. If you have done already or uh, like covered all the high weightage topics, then you have to keep on revising the concepts. Okay. That's the first thing. Up to May 5, I want all of you to focus on if you if you haven't done any high weightage topic, you have to do those high weightage topics. And those students who have done multiple revisions and everything and if any pending syllabus is there, low weightage chapters are there, which you think you can do, you can do that, but provided all your high weightage topics are covered. Okay. And in this time, your short notes should also be prepared. Okay. Then from May 5 onwards, May 5 onwards means from I can say May 6, right? From May 6 onwards, what you have to do? You have to do only revision. Revision plus question practice, as many as you can do. Just focus on revision and question practice. And here also you should be focusing on previous year questions. Okay. If you have not done, you should try finishing previous year questions as well. So is it clear? First to five, you should be doing all the high weightage topics. If any high weightage topics is not covered, complete the concept. Short notes should be prepared and previous year questions should be solved. After that, May 6 to onwards, no more studying, only revision and question practice, revision and question practice, okay. And now I want to tell you the how to focus on PU2 syllabus, you know, 35 to 40 questions will be expected from your PU2, okay. So select the high weightage topic, whichever you have not completed, then you can just watch one shot videos and complete revision. You can do short notes should be prepared last 10 years of previous questions. And then you can write a small test of 20 to 30 questions. If you have time, if you don't have time directly, you can go for the next high weightage topic. But for every high weightage topic by May 5, you should be completing these four things. Okay. Now coming to PU1 syllabus. Here also, you have to select the high weightage topics. You have to do the revision one shot video, short notes and previous year questions. So you have to cycle, complete this cycle for PU1. This is applicable for those students who have completed, who have revised PU2 completely. If you haven't done your PU2 is not completed, then do not go for PU1. First complete focus only on PU2. Okay. Now we will discuss revision and mock test. So you have to maintain an error notebook at this point of time. If you haven't, I have already told you many times because now you will be doing previous year questions. You will be doing some extra question practice. You have to write mock test. So whichever questions you are finding difficult, whichever questions got wrong, those questions have to be maintained in this notebook. Okay. And then you should at least write three to four full length tests. At this point of time, you should write, I will recommend more, but minimum is three to four full length test. Okay. So I will tell you how to write the full length test. It is very important. So you have to write one full length test paper. Okay. 
and you have to write it under exam conditions means you should not get out get uh, get off, off for something you should sit in your place and continue then you should an, uh, analyze the test and note the wrong questions in your error notebook so once the test is completed you have to analyze it and after that you have to revise the weak area so whichever topics questions got wrong those questions you have to practice again those formulas those concepts you have to revise again and again okay next we will i'll give you a test series plan also i think i have told you three to four i have given you a plan of six test series at least four you have to write okay one you can write on first then you can write on third then one day gap fourth the, uh, sorry fifth then sixth seventh and eighth okay so these are five to six mock tests that you can write down and analyze your preparation now where you will get this mock test so we have this complete comet cake crash course we don't have a separate uh, i can say test series but you can get 12 mock test in this particular crash course which is available at 2000 rupees or 199 okay so even if you have some doubts in particular chapters we have given you one shot lectures here that also you can cover but mostly if you want to practice mock test very high quality mock test have been provided here you can do take them okay so the link will be there in the description section you can buy there go to the link and register for at least for the test series 12 uh, mock test you will be getting with solutions also is there so please you can watch that and if you are taking this crash course we are coming every day live from 4th may onwards so you can directly interact with us you can directly talk with us ask and clear all your doubts so that will also be helpful if you take this okay next we have chapter wise weightage so i want to put it here again so that you know which of the high weightage topics you should be doing so basically we have some basic concepts of chemistry chemical bonding equilibrium organic chemistry and hydrocarbons these are the high weightage topics of pu1 okay in chemistry if you talk about pu2 obviously all the chapters are important so do not miss any chapter of pu2 chemistry you can see almost continuously four questions have been asked in all the chapters now coming to uh, physics in uh, pu1 system of particles gravitation and mechanical properties of solids and fluids this carried uh, more chapters uh, more questions and if i see next thermodynamics oscillations and wave this has more weightage now if i go further in uh, case of physics pu2 you can see current electricity electric charges and fields moving charges magnetism emi ac these are the high weightage topics similarly ray optics wave optics and semiconductors are the high weightage topics talking about maths these are the highlighted one eight uh, red color which i have highlighted these are the high weightage topics so you have to focus on these topics first if you haven't covered the syllabus yet okay you can see here next we'll come to a study time table so i want to give you a strict study time table from 1st of may onwards till 9th of may so please try to follow them this will cover uh, this will give you time to write the mock test to do the syllabus and to do revision as well okay so 7 am to 9 am morning 2 hours you are fresh you are highly energetic so you can take maths or any subject which is difficult for you okay then 9 to 10 please take your breakfast get fresh up then 10 to 12 is done to 1 pm you have to sit and write one mock test it is not every day the dates i have provided on that particular day you have to do or if that is not there you can do mock test analysis and some other chapters you can revise during this period of time 3 pm so 1 2 2 2 2 to 3 again break take your lunch take your uh, take a proper nap relax 3 to 5 do physics okay then 5 to 7 again i am giving you a break 6 to 8 do chemistry then 8 to 9:30 again break 9:30 to 11:30 almost 2 hours you can do question practice plus revision okay so this is a very good time table well balanced time table with proper breaks you can use this now we have best resources at this point of time when we are just left with 10 days for the exam so i will not tell you to have any type of ncert book at this point of time just refer to your short notes that you have prepared and this error notebook that you have maintained okay so if you haven't done any er error notebook or any short notes then definitely you should go for ncert okay but this is my request that please if you haven't made the uh, short notes use the time to prepare some short notes formula list and all that will be very very handy during the exam time next 
you can do previous year questions for that you can take mtg publication or arihant publication both of them are very good books i have personally seen and they are chapter wise given solutions are also given so you can take any one of them next we have that how are our channel going to help you so we have already this comet k launchpad series right every day we are coming live at 4 30 pm to teach you all people and we are doing previous year questions right so you already know that so just i want to remind you about that so we have this thing that is going on in our uh, launchpad free series youtube series okay now the thing is it has become live for all of you and as i told you uh, one more thing that before exam we will also be coming up with some compiling videos like some top 100 questions okay organic chemistry revision some compilation videos we will be bringing out we haven't yet planned it so I'm not putting out but definitely there are so many things that can be coming up in our uh, Comet K channel in our uh, Diksha Karnataka channel for you people for Comet K preparation okay so please that is why do not forget to subscribe the channel many important videos are coming and all the best and admit cards are also released so I think now you all are serious for the examination so all the best and if you have any particular query do, do put down in the comment section we will definitely address to it okay so thank you for watching and all the best.